I don't know if this is the best method to feed a cow. Jenna is the cow who thinks that she's a big dog. She has her own window to get attention pretty quickly. And knocking um, on the window is definitely one way. If we leave, like she's very dramatic and very upset about us. She's just got this attitude <laughs> like no other animal that I've ever met. It's the Jenna show. Christmas kisses. Jenna came when she was three days old. We wanted to rescue a dairy cow that any farmer would just sort of give up for free. And Jenna was born with a twin brother, which means that there's like a really high chance that they'll never have babies. And so typically on farms, they just don't need them. I came down to North Carolina in like SUV loaded Jenna into the back of like this car. She was just like this cute little ball of fluff back there. And she was definitely very timid, not sure what was happening. There was definitely a shyness to her. But she clearly was slowly showing some of her Jenna personality right away. She was still just like a baby. We love to do all sorts of things together. Jenna! And she'll follow us if we're in like cleaning the chicken area or something. I play the guitar and as soon as I sit down singing a song, first thing she wants to do is just put her head over me in some way. She's just like happy and relaxed. She closes her eyes and just goes to sleep. Occasionally she'll forget how big she is but she's never actually hurt me. She is just like a little 1,400 pound lap puppy. Jenna is really special and she does have all this personality, but she also is just a regular cow. And so there probably are, you know, tons of Jennas. And it's so sad that those are sort of, you know, snuffed out. Cows are excited to see you. They're sad when you leave. They want affection and attention and they're playful. I didn't really expect that sort of connection and interaction, but it's just like being two best friends. I can't imagine not having the bond that we have. Stand by.